Why is South Temecula in particular so popular and expensive and why are so many folks wanting to move there? That's what we're talking about today. Hi, Jessica Janung here from Active Realty and the Janung team. We are gonna get right into our video today. Today, we are talking all about South Temecula. Moving anywhere in Temecula is a common goal for a lot of the buyers in our business, but I would say that South Temecula in particular is the most popular. We're gonna run down the top neighborhoods. I am saving the most popular reason for last, so hang around to the end of this video. Reason number one, proximity to San Diego. South Temecula borders the North San Diego County line and is going to be the best location for the quickest commute or for those of you that want to enjoy everything that San Diego has to offer. The San Diego beaches, for example, will be easier to get to from South Temecula. The freeway exit leading to South Temecula called Temecula Parkway can get pretty congested. So a popular side route that many residents take is called the Rainbow Valley Boulevard and it's off the 15 freeway. You can then take Old Highway 395 right into South Temecula and you can bypass the crazy Temecula Parkway. Reason number two, upscale neighborhoods. Some of the most desirable neighborhoods in town are in South Temecula, such as Morgan Hill, Wolf Creek, and Red Hawk. These are all large and very popular neighborhoods, and they all have quite reasonable HOAs, which is a nice surprise to our LA and OC people that are accustomed to paying several hundred dollars per month and not getting that much for it. I did a whole separate video on South Temecula, so make sure you check that one out. Reason number three, beautiful topography, rolling hills, and coastal breezes. South Temecula is bordered by a beautiful mountain range that tends to look a little bit greener than North Temecula and Murrieta. I think it's because you get the coastal drift from San Diego that brings in a little moisture and the bordering mountains do get noticeably more brown as you head north up the 15 freeway. Reason number four, particularly high-ranking schools are a big draw for South Temecula. Temecula and Murrieta Unified School Districts are well known for high-ranking schools throughout, but South Temecula's high school called Great Oak High School is the only 10 out of 10 on greatschool.org in the area. The other two high schools are um, Chaparral and Temecula Valley. They are both nines out of tens, which is plenty good if you ask me. Great Oak High School has the IB program. I've had to learn a little bit about what this program is recently because it was not available when I was growing up and I've had some clients inquiring about it. We had honors and AP classes when I was in high school, which was many moons ago, <laughs> um, but we did not have this IB program. The IB program is a high level college preparatory program designed for outstanding high school students. From what I understand, students may earn college credit or advanced standing for their IB coursework. Also located in South Temecula as an alternative to public schools is a large private school called Rancho Christian, which I've heard great things about from my friends. It is located right off of Temecula Parkway. Reason number five. My final reason is that South Temecula is close to lots of shopping and entertainment. On Temecula Parkway, which is also referred to as the California 79 South, which is not to be confused with the 79 North, which is Winchester. I know that's very confusing, um, but off of uh, the 79 South, lots of shopping, restaurants, conveniences, gyms, coffee shops, pretty much everything you need. Some of the larger stores are going to be Stater Brothers, Kohl's, Home Depot, and Super Walmart, which is about as nice as Walmarts come, in my opinion. You also have a lot of restaurants. My favorites, just off the top of my head, are going to be Baja Cactus, which is a family-owned Mexican food restaurant, and Toast, which is a great brunch spot. They actually just opened another Toast in West Marietta, which is over by where I live and where I was enjoying this delicious Bloody Mary just last week. By the way, we live in West Marietta. People always ask me that. Speaking of West Marietta, I am going to be doing a driving tour series of Marietta very shortly. I'm going to be breaking the town up into three videos starting with West Marietta. I already have a driving tour video of Temecula that was broken up into two videos. If you wanna drive through Temecula with me and Chris to get acquainted, be sure you check out those videos. Also near South Temecula is Pachanga Resort and Casino, which has much more to do than just gamble with lots of restaurants, entertainment, golf course, and a really nice art RV resort as well. To the north, you have an entrance to Temecula Wine Country where you have nearly 50 wineries now. We previously would say 
40 wineries, but now it's nearly 50 and we have a growing brewery presence as well. And in just a short 10 minute drive, you can visit Old Town Temecula, which is a hot spot for dining, entertainment, and shopping. That will be a video for another day. Thanks for watching. Bye.